Welcome back to Gadget Class. Please take your seats. Feel free to raise your hand and ask any questions in the comments section below. And be sure to read through the video description. I'll put a link, a uh, direct Amazon link to this product down there where you can get it at a discount on Amazon, as well as a bunch of other juicy tidbits as well. This is a new product from iGaging, and I'm really excited about this. This is their speed mic or high speed micrometer, and it's gonna be a game changer. No other company has anything like this, and uh, I think they've got it patented, so they're gonna be the only one doing it for a while. Um, really good product. Now what does it do differently? Instead of turning the thimble like on a normal micrometer, which can be kind of tedious and time consuming, now you're just pulling a lever. Look at that. That's like caliper speed in a high precision micrometer. You're getting a uh, uh, resolution down to 0 .00005, or half of a ten thousandths, at caliper speed. Now, those of you that are just shopping for a micrometer and don't know what I'm talking about, most of the time you're turning this thimble, or the speeder, and that can take a long time. If you're going from zero all the way up to one inch, I mean, you can spend minutes just turning this, this freaking thimble. That can take a long time, and for that very reason, um, a lot of us these days just go straight to our caliper unless we absolutely need that high resolution. Um, now, you can go straight to this. You can get quick measurements up to an inch really fast. I mean, that's unheard of. Um, really cool. It is absolute origin, and you can set uh, absolute or incremental origin to do uh, go, no go. Uh, you can set origin in relation to a certain point, and it will always know where absolute origin is. It's also got the SBC data output, so you can do your uh, send your uh, data to your CAD program or Excel with the click of a button. Really cool. In the box, you get your battery, you get your battery compartment door tool, you get your little ball bearing anvil adapter for measuring curved surfaces, and check this out. They're doing individual calibration certificates on all their high-end products now. So you know that someone manually sat there and made sure that this product meets their accuracy and precision specs. You know you're going to get a quality product when you get one of these. And you get your instruction manual. These are IP65, coolant proof, moisture and dust resistant, accuracy of 0 .00015, resolution of 0 .00005, so resolution of half of a ten thousandth there. They are auto off after five minutes. Absolute origin, really a great product all around. One other thing that sets us apart, um, on most micrometers, your, uh, your load on the object or your tension is set by a ratchet stop in the thimble. This is set by a preset spring tension. So when you release that spring onto the object, you know that that spring tension is always gonna be exactly the same. There's no guesswork it, on it. Sometimes with a ratchet stop, you can kind of turn it a little bit more. Or you're not sure if you put the right amount of tension on it. There is a little bit of guesswork, but this you just release it and you know it's at the set point. Uh, you know you're gonna get your accurate measurement there. So let's do a couple of test measurements here. See how quick we can do it. Compare this to how fast it would take you to do a normal micrometer. There's one. All the way up to an inch. These are probably dirty. There's probably oil on them. Uh, with uh, with uh, something that measures down to half of a ten thousandths, any kind of oil, lint, uh, the smallest little bit of anything on your measuring surface, on the anvil surface, the spindle surface, or the measuring object can throw your, your uh, measurement off a little bit. So, but they are measuring within spec here. Do you half an inch? Bam. What was that, four measurements? And how long did that take me? I'd probably still be doing the first or second object on a standard micrometer. So that's, that's a game changer right there. I think, uh, think iGaging is going to give Mitutoyo and the big companies a run for their money. Um, if you're any kind of engineer or use a micrometer or caliper on a regular basis, you're going to want to put this on your wish list. Um, and since it is patented, you're probably not going to see it from any other company. They might try to duplicate it in a different way, but right now, iGaging is the only one doing it. 
And I think the, the sale price on Amazon right now is $120. And that's cheaper than like a Minted Toyo standard micrometer. So as soon as people start catching on and it gets popular, I think that price is going to start shooting up. Because um, it's easily worth more than a Minted Toyo or any standard digital micrometer. Really a great product. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos in the series. i got a great video on how to properly use and care for your micrometer and caliper. And I've got some new products for my gauging that are really going to set a new standard. Their new digital indicators are in a class of their own. Uh, really high quality products. And they got indicator stands and micrometer stands and gauge box. So be sure to check out all those videos and uh, subscribe to the channel.